Hello everyone, welcome to FlutterCoder.in. Today we will gonna see that how we can have integrated the Google Ad Mob for our mobile application and we can display the banner ads on that. So for that, first we require to create the application on the Google Ad Mob platform. So you can register your account with the Google uh, Gmail on the Google Ad Mob. Then we need to go to the application. We can create the new application from here. Uh, for both of the native platform, Android and iOS, we require the separate application. So for each individual platform we require to create the application as i already have created that application for this demo so we'll switch to that one so this is the android application and this is the ios one so once we create the application then we need to create the add unit ids and from here we can select the add any uh, unit id and from here we can select the banner here we need to give the add advertisement unit name and uh, we can just have some advanced setting as well and uh, just leave it as of now and we can create the add unit as I already have created the add unit so I won't be creating the new one so here you can see the one uh, add unit being created which is the format of the banner and uh, this will be the add unit uh, ID will be there which will be required uh, in our application along with this one we also require the application ID so this will be the app ID that we require for our application so if this platform is of the Android then this will be registered in the Android manifest file and if this is the iOS then this will be registered in the iOS part so once you have this application then we just need to add this information into our uh, manifest file so for android application go to the android manifest file inside the application tag outside the activity we can have this section id to be defined so we once again copy it here we go. So this way, for the Android application, we require to register in uh, the Android manifest file. <coughs> Next, inside the info.ps file, we need to define the key and the string for the same. So let's find it over here. And for that as well, as I already have created the one application, and also have created the advertisement unit inside that. So this will be the my application ID, which I will be using. So these two application IDs are required. And now for the advertisement unit IDs, we will be creating the separate class, which will be handling that. So create a help helper class. If the platform is Android, this is the iOS. So we will be running this advertisement ID. And if we have in case of the Android, we will be returning this advertisement ID. And for the reference, I will be just keeping two under add IDs. that we will be using for the testing purpose so this actual advertisement ID is used for the production application this will be used for our verification on the development and on the testing purpose now to have this advertisement integrated we need to integrate this we need to integrate this particular package Google mobile ads into our application next thing that we require that we need to ensure that <coughs> the mobile SDK has been instance being initialized as early as possible. Next thing that we will be having that we will be adding the instance of the banner at and then inside the init state method we will be initializing that instance. We will be creating the new instance of the banner edge banner dot get unit ID. We will be having the listener banner ads listener and 
we will be having the request for listener we require two things that on add loaded that will give us the loaded advertisement id Add fail to load. We'll be disposing the our application and for we'll be printing the message for our efforts. Next thing that we will be having that once this advertisement gets loaded, we will be displaying that. So for that, we will be using the stack as our UI. <coughs> and we will be wrapping that in the safe area. If our banner that is not equal to low, that we will be adding that panel at the bottom center. And that will be our banner at each edge. And all these we need to provide the size. So we will be wrapping it with the size box. To double. Uh -huh. See, we require that for the width as well. Now, let's try to run the application again. So I will just hot restart it. Wait on this one. Oh, let's see what it brings. <laughs> see, so we can see that the banner ads are getting loaded at the bottom center, and these are the banner ads that we can have. We will execute this for the Android as well, so let's check that out how it is there. Once we run our application on Android emulator as well, then we will be able to see that how the banner ads are being dis uh, displayed at the bottom of the screen. So this way we can integrate the Google AdMob package in our application and we can display the banner ads on the screen. Thank you for watching this video please subscribe and click on the bell icon to have the highlight of our new uploads and uh, we will be keep posting the new videos thank you very much